Well, if Welcome to Shield is here, that means it's time for us to look at a brand new four star character. This time it's going to be Echo, spacing off against Nebula, at least with the uh, the main node, the essential node. And then I don't know who's who's, like, who's going to be the featured characters, so but we're going to find out together. Alright. As we always do in Welcome to Shield, we always take a look at the the character, the skills of each of the characters that we're going to be utilizing in in each of their their uh, sub nodes, and then you know talk about oh my goodness brain cramp characters that that can fit on a team according to a character all right so before you do any of that there we gotta look at nebula first green blue and red user not in that particular order of course or blue ability uh warped enhancements i think that cost eight it creates a repeater tile on the board um when the repeater tile reaches zero, it restores some of Nebula's health, and it creates uh, what's it? It's a is a front tile or an attack tile on the board. It's either one of one of the two. Galactic Rage is a green ability. Uh, it deals damage to the enemy team, and also deals damage based on the number of strike attack and protect tiles that are on. Nebulous team, I think it's a limit of 10, and then finally, uh, her red ability. It, uh, I think this one here costs is it nine or is it 10 ability? But whatever the case, it it deals damage based on the uh, the, the amount of green AP that you have, and then it creates strike tiles on the board. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if not, we'll double check it and see. All right, we got uh, Maya Echo Lopez here. Yes, it, I know it requires her. So we got her. They have her at 220. Her red ability is one of three abilities. Billy Club, if you've played with. Uh, Oh my goodness, three star daredevil, then you know, creates a, a three turn stun. What, well, a three turn countdown tile that stuns the target for two turns. If we match the countdown tile away, we gain AP. Um, because of that, if not, you know, the countdown tile will continue to go on the board and then. And then, uh, then stuns, uh, adi uh, me again, but the new part is, yeah, about it doing, it doing damage, because the regular ability up doesn't do damage. Uh, the second one is Deadly Precision, this is Bullseye, Bullseye's ability, both for the three star and the two star. You choose five basic tiles on the board, destroy them, deal damage to the target. And of course, the the usual destroy tiles don't generate AP or do damage. And then finally, Iron Fist to come on. If you're familiar with three star Iron Fist, you have one or two options. If you have 12 black AP, so you'll do massive damage to the target. If not then you create some number of or you convert some number of tiles on the board to black in this case here would be nine basic tiles so again a great move to use to uh to generate black all right physical prodigy is a passive so it's two parts so at the start of the turn, she's out in front, she creates a strike tile, and then also echoes 
powers and matches deal 95% more damage each time an enemy uh, each time a power is fired by the enemy team which I said right the first time and it has a uh, max cap of 280 and an undercover expert is her other passive as long as she has the trap tower on the board she takes less damage from enemy matches and powers and additionally if you make a match for greater she creates a black or purple enemy trap tile that if we match or destroy it deals damage to the enemy so so she's more of a little bit of a, a reactionary character uh, at least in at least in four star land so you have to have to be constantly making mass force and keeping her out in front. But with the uh, the health pools being standardized, at least in four star land, I don't see her jumping out in front too much. Ah, uh, well, let's uh, turn on character effects. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart this fight here because I actually chose the wrong ability. Retreat. Again, it didn't cost, cost us anything to, to hop into the fight and retreat. And so I'm going to change her ability club ability to Iron Fist to Come Run. Because Iron Fist to Come Run is actually pretty good. It's, even though it's a higher costing version of it. You can't burn to nothing. And plus two busy clubs are going to be pretty much useless because you can't stun. Alright, let's see here. Grim Efficiency uh, creates uh, red attack tiles. That's what it was. It creates red attack tiles for every every bit of green AP that you have. Warp Enhancements. Okay, yeah. Black Strike Tile. And then Galactic Rage. Yeah, for Strike Attack and Attack Tiles to deal damage. I said I was oh close. I was close. Wow, they actually have the animation for for Iron Fist to come on. Go figure. Red. I'm so used to using three star iron fist, use you know, chasing after purple to use his uh iron fist to come on, but I gotta remember we're using we're using echo, so it's imperative that we get some some red. You can live with purple. Let's match this way to keep the repeater top. I mean, the strike tiles on the board, and then punch her in the face. Another support. Thank you, Lions, for playing. Only 15, man. Alright, so we looked at Echo. Now we get to choose, choose our character. Uh, I think for this here, I think I will use, use Iron Fist, but I'm going to use the 4-star version of Iron Fist, because why not? Since we can't stun and whatnot. Or I could use... Oh no, let's use, uh, what's his face? Hydra Stomp, why not? Let's use him. If he doesn't work, we'll go with Icarus. If not that, there. Whoever else. Mm, I really gotta deny Black at the same time, too. Black isn't really a color that I really, really want for AP generation. 
No, green on the other hand, yes. That's just a straight up denial there. Get rid of those protect tiles that we have. This is only does one point of damage. That hurts a lot too. Can't get stunned. But yeah, yeah those strike tiles are just eating us off. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I did say we go Icarus. Let me go Icarus. I don't mind, again, don't mind losing these fights here, because, you know, they're, you know, nothing, nothing but to show, to showcase off for the character, and, you know, an opportunity for me to you know, flex my muscles and whatnot, so let's get Icarus here, boom. Yeah, I could have went with the match four in green, but at this point in time here, you know, why waste, why waste too much time? Just let, just let Echo, uh, be hard by the, by the effects of Icarus being airborne. Alright, there's that one. Oh. Uh, Warm up again, don't really need to talk about these characters here, they're goons, because I've done it in previous videos, so don't necessarily need to talk about it. Oh, uh, but we got Modern Hawkeye as one of the characters. The, well, one of the, the two versions of the Matt Fraction of Hawkeye. We'll go ahead and get Kate Bishop here as well. Don't really matter what voice Kate Bishop of mine that I got, and then... Bro... Black Widow? First star? I guess. Why not? But this version of Clint here... Pretty straightforward kit. Electric Arrow, dish cost 9. Creates a countdown tile that stuns the target for some number of turns. It's a decent ability in in two star land. It's just outclassed by 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 two star storms. Stunning capability, a four turn stun for eleven AP, and it does damage too. 
for these storm studs. I think electric arrow, yeah, it steals steals AP. Yeah, says it's targeting two turns and it reduces enemy AP in two cup in two random colors. So think think a, a worse version than than She Hulk's brain. Alright, blast arrow. This also costs nine. And so you you select a a red tile and you create a three turn countdown or two turn countdown tile. When it when the countdown tower is zero, it does damage to the enemy team. Pretty straightforward. And then finally, speed shot. If you make a match pile for greater, uh, you create countdown tiles on the board. Uh, I think it's like four countdown tiles on the board. When those countdown tiles reach zero, then you do you do damage to the target. And with Hawkeye, his main his two main partners it is in two star land were two star storm and two star magneto you make match fours using two star magneto's purple ability the, the purple ability will generate red and blue for either well the red for for hawkeye the blue for storm storm stun stuns your biggest threat speed shot will make sure whoever whoever is stunned or whoever's left will will be uh, put put down easily broke and it's he's more or less more or less pretty easy to to operate maintain whatever the case might be so let's let's focus on uh, getting getting that speed shot action going off. I won't worry about matching this tile here because that that will get them that'll get matched away anyways by the uh, the resulting countdown tile reaching zero. And then finally, bro, can't look for trouble, bro. All right, now we got the three-star node, and that She-Hulk. And ironically enough, I did talk about She-Hulk with her with her green ability. So what is this here? Um, making sure we see all the characters who are involved with Marvel's well what well, Disney's Disney Plus shows I guess but we'll look at She-Hulk real quick settlement it's her blue ability cost nine it can it transforms well not transforms but it steals one of your opponent's enemy special what well, an enemy strike attack or projectile and it'll convert it to a friendly tile a friendly a friendly tile that belongs to us and then it'll decrease the strength of one of the one of the enemy's special tiles that's on the board so again that's going to be it's going to be totally random which which tile is going to go towards furious charge is a green ability this is her showcase ability steals AP and two well drains AP in two random colors now with the with the CPU using She-Hulk yeah she's gonna make those is there any AP that you had in how can I put it the so whatever whatever really you might you're to fire your power off in I should immediately still it'll feel like she's still in that there but again it's completely random and then finally power of attorney this is her team damage attack does team damage and it destroys 
uh, some number of tiles in the bottom row so it's a bottom board shape instead of a top board shape or just a board shape in general your traditional board shakes I should say um typically with She-Hulk I I want to find users that can that can make green pretty pretty easily so that she can spam out her her ability so you know Kamala Khan and Iron Man 40 will definitely work well here and the reason why, well, Kamala creates purple, Iron Man can create green whenever he recharges, so there's a win-win-win. And you can effectively turn the AI into, well, just, just another victim or I should say just another another set of characters that are that are just in your way of conquest and Marvel Puzzle Quest. Alright, so let's take a look at the bottom board shake real quick. Because the enemy team isn't going to have any, uh... Supposed to tiles, I don't think. Not yet. Well, Tessai 2 will give it, give it to us, so... Let the board resolve. Let's turn to smoke. Fire off settlement. And we'll fire off settlement again. To take... To take some of the tiles. I guess we'll use Kamala Khan's and Big and Bash. Why not? Alright, let's see here. Toughen up nodes. We got magic. Ileana Rasputin. I think we've used magic before in one of these here. If not, well. Again, it's, it's always good to refresh refresh over your characters. Alright. Rule of Limbo, this costs this costs nine. It creates a two turn repeater tile. Or excuse me, a one turn repeater tile. That that converts some number of tiles basic tiles into red tiles. Red basic tiles. And then, additionally, um, if that count, if that repeater tile is matched away, the return happens, and she creates two purple strike tiles. Size sorcery costs twelve. It removes some number of enemy special tiles on the board. I think it's a cap of two. And like I said, it just strike enemy, attack, well, strike, attack, protect, and count down tiles. So it doesn't do anything with repeaters or invisibility tiles or any other tiles that that may belong to the enemy team. And finally, Eldritch Armor. Eldritch Armor. It's her passive ability. Anytime anybody on her team fires off the power, she creates a projectile. And if there's a projectile or or a strike attack or projectile already on the board, she will fortify at least two repeater tiles. I mean, um, uh, two two special tiles or strike attack and projectile. And also, she uh, she also increases the, the strength of those tiles as well. Alright. Now normally I would run her with Black Panther and Shuri because she's one of the easier fortified tile creators in the game. But since it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right to run Shuri and Black Panther together because I mean she's 
Shuri without Black Panther or vice versa because Shuri decreases the, the amount of AP that your characters need to buy up their powers and she also has an AP tax similar to Captain Marvel for the number of fortified tiles on the board. So let's see here. Who else deals with fortified tiles? Oh. Yeah, Misty Knight, she'll work with fortified tiles too. Let's get rid of the sentry fighter real quick. I probably should have changed uh, Echo's ability again now that I think about it. What, what have I? Oh, okay, it's still is on our just to come on. So, this will help out quite a bit with the. with the, with the red. Well, well, it was gonna help out with the red. red AP generation, but. Last longer than uh, four turns. Oh, binding beat down. Yeah, get rid of those those fortified tiles. Done now. And now the main event of the evening, day one test of skill, and we have. Ooh, this is a good one. Class of Professor X. I got a few team combinations that we could use with him. Let's get the obvious one out of the way first. Him and Onslaught. Alright, so let's explain Professor X real quick. Blue ability, signal boost. Anytime you make a match, match for or greater, Professor X deals massive damage to the target. And he gains AP, he gains one AP while well, he destroys a tile in that particular color, and you gain one AP in that color as of the tile that you destroyed. So it could destroy a random basic tile, it could destroy a random strike attack and protect tile, invisibility tile, repeater tile, doesn't matter. It's just, it's just gone. All right. I know, and I know it doesn't say, you know, you, you gain the AP, but you, you do gain at least like one AP, uh, in the, in the tile that, that's destroyed. That's like something that's hidden on the back end. All right. To me, my X Men, this is a multi, a multi selecting power. So what I mean is, you have one of six choices depending upon what you choose. All right. But the main thing is, it adds three basic tiles to whatever color that you chose, and add them and add them onto the board. All right, if you choose red, Wolverine does a ton of damage to the target. So think Wolverine, two-star Wolverine, two-star Wolverine's Adamantium Slash. All right, if it's yellow, it does a burst of health. So think uh, Beast Medical Marvel, his 11 AP move. If it's green, then you choose Rogue, and then you deal you deal damage to the enemy team. So in this case here, think rogues, uh, her red ability, sugar you going down. Blue is Cyclops, it destroys a chosen rogue, 
and it deals damage but of course it doesn't generate any AP so again that's actually good for getting rid of any any out of the out of the way tiles or out of reach tiles purple ability this is one of the abilities I use it changes the Jubilee and it changes changes all the time well not all of the tiles but 40 tiles on the board into random colors so it could it can grab the the those out of reach tiles and and convert them into colors that you can easily match or it can mix and match and give you some some varying results and then finally if you choose black which is like the the least useful but it's useful with a certain x-men who likes to boost special tiles but you create five five attack tiles on the board and and you can go from there then finally xavier protocols this is his passive ability as long as he has an active member of the x-men on on the team enemy green powers cost one ap more and additionally uh, professor x becomes a little bit of a tank so he'll he'll take less damage for each active x-men member on the team or or and eight percent less eight percent less for each for each other active ally so essentially professor x gets a gets a, a bit of a damage reduction based on how many allies he has active and then if those x if those allies happen to be x-men he's gonna get get some significant boost not only to his his reduction of match damage or just damage in general but he also give gives a bit of an ap tax on red and green and then at, at level five it'll additionally be yellow so mainly i just leave him at five five three because there unless you're running specific x-men with the, with the professor you know the the damage reduction is it's good definitely something to keep in mind but it's not going to revolve it's going to be something that you're going to be revolving all the way all the way around with the professor and then the the natural synergy partner with the professor's onslaught the the two abilities that, that you really need to worry about is onslaught's a green ability where if you make a make a match for or greater with professor x you destroy some you destroy all the all the team up tiles on the board and deal damage to the enemy team that way and then his blue ability psychic blast which costs seven and you can convert the enemy's strongest color tile into the enemy's weakest color tile which can start off cascade with professor x and onslaught goes pretty bananas as well let's see if we can get something good after the game loads up of course well we're gonna get the match four here so you'll get a chance to see this here in action All right. Now notice, I'm sitting here at two AP. Once we do that, that's seven, and you gain the you gain the one AP there from the signal boost. Like I said, that a lot of people think like, oh, whoa! All he does is just destroy destroy AP. I mean, he uh, he destroys the tile, but you don't get any AP behind it. No, you actually do get AP behind it. Alright, so convert black into green. So we go here.
Okay, I see another mall. Game, it's not giving me anything good to react for her. Oh well. Alright, green to green doesn't really matter. This way, get a match five. And I think that should end the fight. Like that, pretty quickly, Buster X. I said, Professor X, one of those characters there that I'm kind of glad that I actually took the time out to champion. Because, man, trying to, trying to get him before he left Legendary Tokens, that was kind of, kind of a challenge to say the least. Alright, so that ends day one, day two, we'll have its own set of challenges, we'll deal with that, and then day three, you know, the dreaded Mordo thing, and Star-Lord mode. But before we can complete that, we also gotta deal with the dreaded Ruby Williams and, and Mockingbird node, so we'll... We'll throw in the additional helpers with the professor from there. So, that's it. That's it. I'll catch you all in the next video sometime tomorrow. Laters.